Welcome back to the Learn Dash Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to look at creating courses with the Course Builder. Let's get started. We're going to go over to the left hand side under Learn Dash and click Courses. Here, you'll see a list of any courses you've created. You'll see the settings area, and this is the general or global settings for all of your courses. It includes things like using the Course Builder, steps displayed, pagination and more. You'll also see all of the short codes available to you. You can use these on any post, page, course, lesson, or quiz. Finally, the last thing worth pointing out here on the courses page is the actions drop-down list. Here you can view the course categories and tags and the built-in WordPress categories and tags. Let's go ahead and add a new course. We can do that from the All Courses screen by clicking on Add New. Here we'll be brought to a nice looking interface that integrates the WordPress block editor. We can add our course title, we can add some course content, and you can add categories, tags, featured images, and more. The real power comes with the course builder. This has been completely redesigned in the latest version of LearnDash. Here, you can add lessons, topics, and section headings. A section heading is a simple headline for the set of lessons that you want to show. So we'll create a section heading called Introduction. It's worth noting that there's no content associated directly with a section heading. That will all be left for the lessons and topics. So now let's go ahead and add a new lesson. Here, we're just going to add the title for the lesson. If we click on the drop down arrow for the lesson, you'll see that we can add new topics or subdivisions of that lesson. We can also add a quiz associated with that lesson. So let's add one topic, and we'll add a quiz specifically for this lesson. We can also add final quizzes, which will be displayed once the student completes the entire course. When you have your entire course outline built out, you can head over to settings, where you can choose the display and content options specifically for this course. That includes adding course materials and a certificate, making the course content available only to people who are enrolled in the course or to anybody, pagination, and more. Of particular interest might be the access settings. You can make it open, free, paid, recurring paid, or completely closed. You could see in the settings that each of these modes has a very good description underneath it. So for example, open, open is the course is not protected. Anybody who visits your site will be able to view it. But if the course is free, it is protected, which means that users will have to register and enroll. We'll touch on each of these access modes a little bit later in the bootcamp. In the last few settings, you could set course prerequisites, points, access expiration, and a bit more. You can also make the course navigation linear, which requires the user to progress throughout the course in the designated step sequence, which means the order in which you've laid it out. Or you could set it to freeform, which means that a user can take whatever lesson or topic they want at any point. The last area of the course builder is groups. So you can assign this course to specific groups. Once you complete building out your course, you can click publish. And if we view the course on the front end, we'll see all of the content we've added.